On behalf of the Lone Star Conference and Lubbock Christian University, I'm Chris Dew welcoming everybody to another media day focus on women's basketball in Lubbock Christian University. Coach Steve Gomez, Macy Maddox joining us, student athlete for the Lady Shaps. And Coach, looking back, 24 and 11 last season, South Central Region finalist, 16 and 6 co-division champs. And uh, this season, taking a preseason number four ranking, also getting some first place votes. Coach, last season, five new starters, which means this season, five returning starters? Yeah, really fun to have some maturity back, some experience back. And it was fun last year to go through that process. Very rare to start a year with no returning starters, but boy, they grew up really well throughout the year. Yeah, that was the first time in your coaching career that, that you had had five new starters. But with, with this fi uh, five returning starters, and you talked about a little bit about the difference of how much of it is uh, uh, mental growth, how much it is X's and O's that you can develop with this team having a year under their belt playing all together as starters. Yeah, just seeing the preseason this year, we obviously were able to start farther along. Last year in the, the early part of the year, we're just trying to figure out what's going on and kids getting to know each other, uh, how they play. And so we're, we're able to start with a little experience in, in that way. Uh, and then just uh, the strategic improvement they made over the year, their individual and, and group commitment to scouting, to video, but their skill development from the spring, even the end of last season through uh, this fall has been really great to watch. So a lot of good improvements in, in each of them individually and collectively. Coach, uh, Lone Star Conference, very balanced. Four teams receiving first place votes, including Lubbock Christian University. We saw a lot of different teams in the mix last year. You weren't the automatic number one seed at all, but and then at the same time, you play for the regional championship. Yeah, you know, it was a, a year that we slowly got better and better, and I think we ended up, you know, about as good as we could. A double overtime loss to go to the Elite Eight with a, a young team like that was, was great growth. Uh, and again, we're not just playing for an end result. We want to play the process. And so starting out this year, we can't expect just because that's where we achieved last year that that's possibly going to happen again. We've got to focus on the day and have a good practice and see what happens as the weeks unfold uh, here in the coming months. You expect a lot of uh, unbalance, a lot of unknowns going into this season when you look at the conference as a whole? You know, it's always we have so much focus on ourselves uh, as we get into the season when games start. I'll probably have a better idea about what the other schools and the other teams have. We don't spend a lot of time you know, looking at rosters or potential transfers. So some of those schools may have changed their whole roster. I don't even know, but uh, I know there'll be a lot of quality teams. And so every year it's a challenge. So uh, I just want to get us to be as good as we can be, and then we'll live with the results. Grace Foster is the Lone Star Conference co-preseason player of the year. I'm, I'm sure you would you would think she does deserve that, very deserved of the honor. What does she bring to your team? Well, last year, I mean, in that sophomore season from the start to the end, uh, she grew that whole year, and I think she's ready uh, to take a big challenge again this year. You know, being the player of the year last year in the conference uh, as a sophomore is fairly rare, uh, but her versatility, her, her, the, the mind, uh, her mental game is, is a lot of her uh, positives as well, and so, we just want her to keep maturing, but also she relies on her teammates. She knows how important that is. So uh, we hope teams can't key on one person. We've got a lot of players, hopefully, that'll be productive as well on the offensive end. Setting to your left, Macy Maddox, uh, always the prankster, the jokester, the class clown, the, the cut up. But at the same time, when, the, when it's time to play, she's ready to play. What does she bring to your squad? Well, I mean, she's one of the most unique players. Uh, She's sort of a freak of nature in a way. I mean, her max VO2 levels are incredible. She can play hard a long time, very active, uh, you know, never really gets still. Uh, so her sitting here still right now is pretty rare, but just her, her ability to keep moving and just enjoy the game. She brings a lot of joy to the game. I know a lot of people like watching her play and uh, she helps her team in so many little ways, but also uh, she needs to make a lot of plays for us this year. So. Last year, what a tremendous season, and she, she's one of the big reasons we ended up so well late, because she played at a high level. Yeah, Macy, uh, everybody went to the conference tournament to see Grace Foster play. 
they got to see you play at the regional uh, all tournament team performance. Uh, how much growth did you get out of playing in the postseason last year? Um, I think, like you said, since we were um, young and new starters, it put us in a different position. Um, and I definitely felt us grow in the timeouts. We were locked in. At the beginning of the season, we were locked in, but it was a different kind of locked in. And I mean, everybody was engaged and I could just feel the growth on the court, off the court. What, was there ever a this is our turn moment? Uh, and not to say take a back seat, but for so many, for so many years, uh, Elsie had the, all the All-Americans that were starting and, and having five starters uh, graduate, go to grad school, you know, completing their eligibility. And, ha and you being one of the five new starters that had been part of this team, what, did it, what was it like to kind of have a, your moment? Well, I wouldn't have changed anything from the previous years. I got to learn from so many talented players. <clears throat> Allie Schulte, I loved just getting to learn from her, and she was a great mentor for me. And, um, I mean, obviously it's fun. New things are fun. Hmm. And since it was kind of a new team, um, we kind of took that and we were like, let's go. And he had our back the whole time. He never gave up on us. Um, he continued to push us because he has very high expectations for us and we need that. What are your personal goals this season? Man, I just want to help my team the best I can. Um, I love the way we ended last year, but like he said, we can't just assume that's how it's going to be. We've got to keep that in our mind and use that as motivation to start the season. You're from here, but when you go on the road, is there a place that when you step into that in the Lone Star Conference, you're like, I like playing this, uh, in this building, this venue, going to this city, whether it's a restaurant, a hotel, wh where is it you like to go in the Lone Star Conference? I think WT, just the tension. And I mean, they're always a great team and all those girls are so sweet. I love a lot of those girls. And I think just the energy in there <clears throat> and the local people that I know from Amarillo and people that travel all the way from Lubbock too, it's only an hour and a half or so. Um, that's just a fun place to play. And the gym's very just energetic and I love that. Kill them with kindness, right? That's coach? right. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a great attitude. What's it gonna be like having uh, your son Landon as a, uh, as a full-time assistant coach as Vic Self? Uh, Hate to see him leave, but he retires. I know he's uh, act like he's he's gone away. I'm sure he'll be around a lot. But what's it like having your son as an assistant coach? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, Coach Self's just an icon. Uh, we we spent 20 years of my 35 years of coaching together, and so definitely miss him. You know, Landon's been just a joy to have. He he has a lot of energy. He got a lot of great experience at Tech as a GA. They uh, those coaches over there did a great job of giving him a lot of duties, and so. He comes in pretty seasoned, even though it's his first official year of coaching. Uh, and so to have him, it's just fun. Uh, we've obviously grown up together, so I know he thinks the game in a, in a mature way, always more than his years, uh, even through high school and now in college. Uh, so I, I think he'll bring a lot to us. At the same time, uh, we just want to continue to find ways to help our girls do the best they can, because as coaches, we just want to sometimes get out of the way. And so I think he has a good balance of that, of knowing when to when to help and when to step back. Coach, Macy, best of luck this season. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's already November. We're getting into November. There's, that means there's a little chill in the air outside, but things heating up inside the Rip Griffin Center as basketball season is approaching. We appreciate everybody joining us as we take a look at Lubbock Christian University. Best of luck to all the teams in the Lone Star Conference.